Living History, World War II Stories is told by those who were there. Since early January of 1942, President Roosevelt had advocated a bombing attack against the Japanese homeland to prick Japanese confidence and boost American morale. The concept of taking army bombers off a Navy carrier, and I was selected to train the crews, supervise the, the uh, training of the crews, and to select the aircraft to be used in the, in the mission. Several bomber types were considered for the mission. The B-25 seemed to be the best choice. It was decided to launch the bombers close enough to Japan to allow the pilots to fly on to safety in nearby countries. If the bombers were to have any chance of reaching the Chinese bases, they would have to be launched about 400 miles off the Japanese coast. Doolittle's plan called for a takeoff from the Hornet at 6 p.m. on April 19th. The landings were to be made in China no earlier than 4 a.m. the following day. A Japanese trawler was sighted just after daybreak on April 18th, only 12 miles away. The cruiser Nashville sank the enemy boat, but the damage had already been done. Intercepted Japanese radio messages indicated the trawler had reported the task force position to the mainland. Admiral Halsey acted quickly. He ordered the bombers to be launched immediately so that his fleet could turn back to Hawaii and safety. His signalman flashed the message to the Hornet, launch planes. Of the 15 B-25s that made it to China, 11 were abandoned in flight, their crews bailing out, and four crash-landed or ditched off the east coast. Two flyers died in crash landings, one was killed after bailing out. Most of the crewmen were eventually picked up by Chinese peasants or guerrilla bands and treated with the utmost kindness when it was learned they were Americans. The Chinese people showed great respect for the Americans and went out of their way to help them escape. Thousands were to pay with their lives for this help in the days and weeks afterward. And today we have the honor and the privilege of interviewing Ensign Bill Tunstall. Ensign Tunstall was a plane captain aboard the Hornet. And these B-25s came down, hoisted them aboard, and, and no sooner did they do that and we took off, and they told us what the mission was. That, that here was a man by the name of uh, Doolittle that was aboard with his crew, and uh, we we're going to launch them and uh, and, uh, and bomb uh, uh, Japan. The day of the launch um, came quite unexpectedly, and uh, the uh, the seas were very rough. And the, uh, the general quarters was sounded, and everyone went to their battle stations. And since my battle station was with my aircraft, and the aircraft was locked. Uh, in a position that uh, it couldn't be moved, I went up to the flight deck, and on the way up, as I opened this uh, door that went into a catwalk, I saw the Nashville open up with, uh, with its uh, main battery of six-inch guns and firing at an, a fishing vessel that was not too far away. Um, the skies were, were, were gray and dark, and uh, as I got up to the flight deck, uh, the uh, uh, General Doolittle had just taken off and uh, the second aircraft was just about in the start of the roll uh, and I stood on a catwalk on the port side um, uh, watching uh, the aircraft being maneuvered up uh, one by one into line to take off. Now, the, an aircraft of this size uh, was, it had to be timed because the ocean was so rough that the, that the launching officer would uh, begin the roll just as the, the bow went down. And so by the time the aircraft reached about half or three quarters away from the launch point to the bow, the bow started back up again. And so the aircraft would uh, uh, be airborne because we were going into about uh, 
30 knot wind uh, plus a speed of about uh, 30 knots and uh, uh, the, uh, the the aircraft was uh, pretty well airborne and you could you could almost sense that the aircraft were in that stall position but they they leveled off and off they went the last I saw of uh, some of the aircraft and I saw say the first six take off the, the last I saw of them they were ga uh, gathering in flights of twos and joining up over the ship and heading off toward the uh, coast of, of, of Japan. 